Hi there, my name's Beth, and today I'm going to be doing my TBR video for the hashtag project TBR readathon. This readathon, as well as the whole hashtag project TBR, was created by Benjamin over at Benjamin of Tomes here on YouTube, and I think this is a brilliant idea. Uh, this is a way for all of us to reduce our TBRs, if not drastically, then just by a little bit, and this readathon sure is going to help. There are four challenges associated with this readathon, uh, and there is a bonus challenge. This readathon goes for an entire week. It starts February 16th, which is this coming Monday, and it ends on February the 22nd, which is the following Sunday. So it does go for a whole week, so it's lots of time to read lots of books. Uh, there, as I mentioned before, there are four challenges, so I'm going to be going through each book I've picked out for these four challenges, plus the book I've even picked out for the bonus challenge, if I can get around to it. The first challenge is to pick a book that has less than 250 pages. I found this quite challenging to try to pick a book. I did manage to find one, and I figure it'll be a nice easy read, and it's super fast. <laughs> uh, and that is Grace's Guide, The Art of Pretending to Be a Grown-Up by Grace Helbig also here on YouTube. This book seems like it's just so much fun and it's going to be such a quick easy read and I do have quite a few chunky books in my TBR pile so this will be good to just throw in uh, in between some and just complete another book. But I'm also really interested in reading this book. The second challenge is to read a book that is over 500 pages. Again, this is where these chunky books come in. And the book I've chosen for this challenge is The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. This is the sequel to The Bone Season, which is the book I'm currently reading. I'm almost done it, so I figure that this will be a perfect book to pick up during this readathon. And this book comes in at 512 pages, so it is perfect. The next challenge is a book with green on the cover. I'm going to apologize right now about this lighting. It decided to snow in the middle of filming, which it always does. I live in Canada. It always snows. <laughs> um, so the green might not be as, sh it might not show up as well as it does in person on these books. But I do have two books. Uh, I'm going to pick one or the other. I'm not going to read both if I have time, sure. But the first option I have is Entwined by Heather Dixon. This book has been on my TBR for so long now. I heard uh, Elle over at All That Glitters 21 talk about it probably four years ago. And just how she described it, it sounds so good. So I picked it up. But I haven't gotten around to reading it, so maybe I will do it this coming week. <laughs> However, the other book, uh, also I am so excited to read, and this book has only been on my TBR for a couple weeks now, <laughs> and that is Invaded by Melissa Landers. This is the sequel to Alienated, and I finished Alienated just about a week and a half ago, and I absolutely loved it, so I'm so excited to pick this one up. Both these books have an intense amount of green on the cover, and yeah, so I'm not too sure, one or the other, but the fourth challenge is to pick an underhyped book, and I found this one also quite difficult because a lot of the books on my shelf are because I've heard about them through booktube or because I've heard about them in chapters on those like if you liked this book, you'll like this book, and then all of those books are super hyped up books now. But I managed to find one, and I'm really excited to read it. And uh, I read a book by this author earlier, or late last year, for another readathon. And that one is super hyped, but I have not heard anyone talk about this book, and this is The Other Normals by Ned Vizzini. Uh, Ned Vizzini is the author of It's Kind of a Funny Story, and I absolutely loved that book. I flew through it, and this one seems really cool too, so I'm excited to read it. I believe this book deals with, er, uh, like, I believe this book is based around, uh, like, role-playing games, so I feel like it would be something really interesting to read, and I'll let you know when I read it. <laughs> Now, the final challenge, or the bonus challenge, if you will, 
uh, is to read a book or to read a sequel that you've been wanting to read for a long time. The book I've chosen is probably one of the only sequels I have on my shelf that I haven't immediately picked up after the book, the first book, and that is The Treatment by Suzanne Young. This is the sequel to the program, and I read the program last August, and I haven't even gotten around to this book. So if I can finish all the other books, I will pick up this one, and again, this book will be super easy to fly through, but it does deal with like the uh, depression and suicide topic, so I figure that having some of these lighter books like Entwined and Grace's Guide will be it'll be a good balance between all the heavy topics and the lighter topics and the bigger books and the smaller books. So yes, if I am able to read all of those books and still have time, uh, the final book that doesn't fall into any of these challenges, well it kind of does because it has green on the cover, but uh, I want to pick up These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is the book explosion book of the month for February. And I figured that now would be the perfect time to read this as A, it's been on my TBR shelf for so long now, and B, I can finally watch one of the live shows <laughs> for uh, these books. So, yes. In the comments below, let me know what you are planning on reading for the hashtag Project TBR Readathon, or uh, just link your video down below, because I love watching all of these TBR videos. I just watched a bunch before I even filmed this to get some inspiration and yeah. And until I see you guys next time, or until you see me next time, <laughs> have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you really soon. Goodbye!